from hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a bottle of Brewdogs. Hello, my name is Meta Murray. It is an 8.2% ABV Lingonberry double IPA. Meta Murray is the crown princess of um, Norway. This was brewed for, and I think in kind of partnership with um, Brewdogs, a Norwegian distributor. Meta Murray is um, quite an interesting character I mean she's a woman who's kind of lived life really I mean um, and quite a controversial character in that sense because um, the average kind of member of the, the um, kind of royalty has led, led, led quite a pampered life she has got a bit of a check, checker background dicey family background they've all been up to no good but she's a, she seems like quite an interesting character that she's a very outspoken and very very much a kind of crusader for a lot of kind of like uh, human rights organizations and very much a um, uh, spot of kind of um, AIDS, AIDS campaigning and things like that. So I mean, you don't often get kind of royal figures who will do that, get their hands dirty and kind of like. And I think it's quite impressive that such a public figure can be quite quite adventurous and quite outspoken and do some good really. So in that sense, good on them. <laughs> yes, uh, I've never had a lingonberry. I have had this beer a couple of times now. A couple of times I bought all of them once on keg. When I first time I had a keg, it blew me away. I was very impressed. Last time I had it was at the Brewdog Bar. No, actually not the Brewdog Bar. I, outside the Brewdog Brewery, the old one. The dystopian uh, puppet hobby centre. The old brewery up at Fraser Brewery where me and Richard Taylor from uh, Beercast were uh, brewing our beer, which is soon to be released called uh, Dead Metaphor, which is a, uh, a chocolate coffee oatmeal milk stout should be around 6.5% ABV if I, I will release this video before Indie Man Beer Con, which the beer is being uh, released at and then I am going to be doing a um, a, a launch at the uh, Bruno Bar in Leeds on Thursday the 17th let me just check that on my phone I, I start talking and, and I don't got my facts at facts ready what an amateur eh yeah 17th 17th don't have time but be there It'd be great to see you. We'll drink some great beer that night as well. Anyway, beer in the glass. A real nice hazy kind of peachy orange. It's got like a slightly red tone to it. The head on it, um, it has it once again got a slightly orangey hue to it, but very much white and I mean, perfectly formed. Beer, slightly hazy. I mean, it looks like IPA, but with a slightly redder, more red hue to it so let's give it a sniff oh i think that's lovely really interesting it's definitely on the more kind of traditional ipa notes it's definitely got like a pink grapefruit or a blood orange um maybe yeah kind of like the grapefruit flesh definitely the um a resinous note kind of a sweet resinous note an evergreen, more than the kind of like a resinous pine, it's more like kind of like slightly kind of um, spruce like note, which I've smelt in beers and tasted in beers before. Definitely a, a kind of quite a sweet, sugary edge. A lingonberry is a, a similar fruit to a cranberry, and you are definitely getting that kind of red currant cranberry, that kind of thing. It's, yeah, it's got a sugary, sweet candy floss note. Slightly floral, I said with that kind of spruce, but it's not kind of flowery floral. It's it's got a it's got a, a fragrance to it more than a fla a, a floral note. Maybe a hint of kind of jasmine tea. Maybe Earl Grey, something like that. But yeah, it's it's got a quite a sweet resinous quality to it, but it's also got also got like a nice fruity berry juiciness to it. Smells lovely, really does, really unique and really different for an IPA. So let's dive in. Cheers, I can smell it all day, it's a lovely beer. First thing, good amount of body to it. 8.2, you kind of, it kind of works nicely if it is. Not too sweet for a double IPA as well, and I guess it's not bang up there like 10% wise, like a lot of big doubles, double IPAs from America often are. Yeah, quite a, an assertive resinous bitterness. You get a, 
um, kind of like a um, like a kirsch, like a um, like a cherry liqueur note in there, which is edging towards, but in the best possible way, um, like cough medicine. It has got a bit of that going on, like a cough lozenge. Definitely getting a lot of that lingonberry. As, as I said, I'm not that massive familiar, but I know what a cranberry tastes like. You are getting that, maybe a hint of pomegranate, that kind of flavour. Definitely a bitter lemon. That is one of the more punchier, kind of um, hot bitterness notes. Is coming from like a quite bitter lemon. And tin grapefruit as well, I'm going to say. Yeah, it's big, it's got a big full flavour and a resounding bitterness. On the back end, it's getting a little bit more kind of prickly. Once again, I think that lemon is maybe getting a bit more pithy. And it's got a slightly kind of like woody note, maybe like a damp bar, because it is quite dank. I, have, I think I've uh, neglected to say that so far. Hops are quite dank. I'm not sure what's in it. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's something along the lines of Simcoe. Because you are getting those, um, I know Bruno will use a lot of Simcoe as well. Getting those kind of raspberry notes, you, or, or kind of synthetic strawberry notes you get from Simcoe. Maybe Bravo, something like that. And those more dank hops are really um, complementing the lingonberry. Which is slightly jammy. Um, this is the um, second bottle I've had in the last two days. I actually filmed another review of this and it went a bit pear shaped. Um, I had some issues with my camera. Um, but this seems a bit more punchy and a bit more kind of like a lot more bitter than the one I had yesterday. But yeah, I think it's got a really interesting flavour. I think it's very unique for an IPA. And I think it really works. And for me, my favourite of this uh, Hello My Name is range obviously uh, Ingrid was the first one Beastie was the second one I think this must be the third one I might miss one out there but this is my favourite by a long shot Hello My Name is Metamarit um, and 8.2% ABV Lingonberry Double IPA from Brewdog in Aberdeenshire well this has been brewed at the Ellen Brewery which is a fantastic facility I mean my time at Brewdog was really a real eye opener and a really fantastic time I mean, you can't help help with it, be enthused if you've ever kind of spent any time with people from Brewdog because it's just they're going places and it's exciting and they're going they're doing it for all the right reasons and it's an ex it's an exciting time it's an exciting time and this is a kick-ass beer so check it out. My name's Rob. I'm from Popsing.com and I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>